Hi, this is Chris Davis of Smash Gear, and this is the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Uh, the follow-up to Samsung's oversized Galaxy Note, and like its predecessor, it keeps a very large display. In fact, the display's gotten even bigger, so we're now up to 5.5 inches, running at 1280 by 720p resolution. So it means you've lost a narrow 80 pixel wide column down the side, but you do gain more compatibility with straightforward apps from the Android market, as well as making Samsung's life a little bit easier, putting its own applications on top of TouchWiz and uh, Android Jelly Bean in this case. It doesn't mean it's more directly compatible with apps that would run on the Samsung Galaxy S3. As you might be able to tell, it does share some of the aesthetic design with the S3 too, so you get the more curved corners and this kind of white um, surround, uh, just like uh, Samsung's smaller flagship phone. Uh, what, of course, stands out on the Galaxy Note 2, just like its predecessor, is this stylus, so you can pull out a special digital pen, and unlike some digital pens which are used uh, with things like the iPad, uh, this is a proper active digitizer inside, so uh, you can not only tap on the screen, but, uh, but you can also hover over and it will pick up uh, where the nib of the pen is, uh, is above, uh, up to a distance of about half a centimeter. And that allows Samsung to do some kind of some interesting things. For instance, if you go into the uh, S Planner application, uh, you can hover over an appointment in the calendar and see a pop-up of what it's all about. Uh, rather than having to actually tap through and go straight into it, though of course you can tap in if you'd rather and look at the uh, note that way. Uh, other applications that Samsung's added, you get uh, the S Note app uh, for sketching and writing, so uh, you can pu pull up uh, a blank note, you can uh, draw away to your heart's content, but you can also take screenshots, so you hold down the barrel button on the side, grab a little slot and then you can send that into uh, an S note note or save it to the keyboard you can choose which note you want to put it into uh, and then it gives you the choice to uh, adjust the size uh, and then you can also annotate and do all manner of things with different pins and sketching. Uh, you can record voice notes uh, from here um, and you can also insert photos and videos, take a picture directly from uh, the S-Note app. Uh, there's an 8 megapixel camera on the back, 1.9 megapixel camera up front. So I can snap a photo uh, and take that straight into uh, the S-Note application uh, and once that's come in I can then again choose to annotate it uh, with different choice of pens, thicknesses, colours sketch and draw on it. And you can also uh, put in snippets of maps, whatever's on the keyboard, uh, different clip arts and text boxes and shapes that you that Samsung have provided. Uh, so that's a, a good way to kind of keep all your notes together. But you can also synchronize them uh, with Evernote and Google Drive. And the combination of Jelly Bean and TouchWiz on uh, this latest version and the combination of Jelly Bean and this latest version of TouchWiz had up something which is really quite useful. So for instance, you can still do Samsung's side swipe to grab a screenshot, and that will then show up in the notification bar here. And as you can see, you've got not only a preview of the screenshot, uh, but you also get some buttons here to delete, to edit the picture, or to share it. So I can click share, and it'll take me straight to all of the different places that I could uh, share it across. So that's Wi-Fi Direct to another Wi-Fi Direct compatible device, to Gmail, upload it to Google+, or Twitter. Um, I can also click on edit and that will take me into Paper Artist which is the uh, art app on the Galaxy Note 2 uh, and then you can use various different uh, filters, different photo effects and scribble away to your heart's content. Some of Samsung's other custom tweaks and touchways include blocking mode uh, where you can go in and select to uh, cut off incoming calls, notifications, alarms and any timer notifications and in fact even the LED indicator which flashes here at the top of the display either all the time or between certain hours and you can allow a contacts list of people through uh, who will be able to override that setting. So it's useful if you like to keep your phone on your bedside table at night but uh, don't necessarily like to be blinded by it. There are also the various motion settings, uh, which allow you to do things like quick glance, so just reaching towards the phone, uh, it will flash up uh, a number of uh, the most recent alerts. Uh, smart alert, where it will vibrate if you've missed something when you pick it up and put it in your pocket. Uh, direct call, so if you're uh, looking at a contact or a message from a contact on screen, pick it up to your side of your head, it will call that contact. Uh, there's shake to update, turning over to mute or pause the phone, uh, and you can also uh, pan the phone to uh, pan around different images and 
cover it with your palm to mute or pause it. And all these things can be independently turned on or off depending on which you think you'll need.